Uh, let's jump back into um, Chris. Chris sent me a couple of emails. Um, good afternoon, Lars. How are you doing, Chris? Water and coffee this morning. Um, wanted to make a free level circular small tool holder with each level smaller and above the lower level. And it's for 3D printing. Uh, people like 3D printing. So let's, um, he actually sent me a couple of images, but I'm just going to call up one of them. Here, you guys have all seen these kind of plastic things here. Um, so uh, this is for 3D printing. Each layer would be about three millimeter thick uh, by offsetting um, each layer out and um, and kind of trying to, to 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 model this up. And there's a couple of questions in here in regards to uh, how do I make the um, you know the outer edges kind of the different levels of it. Um, and I hope that I hope this is going to help you. So let's try to go into fusion here. I uh, hope this is going to send you on, you know, on your way, Chris. Uh, what I would do if I was going to model this up um, is that I will start a sketch on a plane here and um, hit alpha line and let's draw up uh, something. Let's make it 50 just to make it easier here. 50 millers like this. And I would probably just create, uh, I would use the revolve uh, for this. So I'm going to create a couple of um, kind of steps here. I think you had three steps in your video or in your picture. I'll close that up there. Um, and then we could do D for dimension. And uh, let's just make it 100 just for the ease of that. And uh, then one thing we could do was we could say uh, this one here. I want that to be 100 divided by 3. Type that into the dimension field. So now we could hit the same thing here. We could just click on that one. So now that should be good. And we could do the same thing. We kind of like do the same thing for uh, for these, right? So this one here is going to be 50 divided by 3. Oops, not minus. Divided by 3. Like that. And then if we do the same thing for this one to this. Like that. So now they should all be pretty much the same step by step. Uh, <laughs> I hope that was a... A nifty little trick, useful for somebody. Uh, let's go in and hit the revolve. And I'm gonna revolve, oops, I was always like to revolve this around this axis here, like that. Um, I would probably add some fillets. So go and hit the fillet tool. Add a couple of fillets here. Let's make it like two millimeters. And uh, that's pretty good. Now yours was blue, so I'm gonna hit A on the keyboard, A for Anton, that's gonna uh, give us the appearances here and we can go to paint glossy blue we can drag that on there it turns blue that's not the blue that i really want though uh so you can right click and hit edit and then you can play around with uh well kind of like getting this in a blue that we want maybe i want something like that's more the blue i want it okay um so that's how i would create those different steps and actually, you probably also wanted to add inside fillets on these two here, I would think, just to strengthen that a little bit if you're 3D printing things. Um, and then, now one of the things when I looked at your picture, uh, Chris, is that there is all these different hole sizes, of course, for all these different tools. And, and if they are all the same diameter, it would be pretty easy to kind of like just do a, a revolve. So if we start a new sketch up on this face here. And there might be a better way to do this, but I think what I would do, I think what I would do was I would do a P for project and I would select this outer edge there. Actually not that edge, I'll select the fillet to that fillet edge. Um, and then create a line that's gonna snap in from, from that to that point there. Now it's still blue, now I should have picked blue for the you see how the line goes there? So we could do like vertical from that point to that point. That's gonna make that black. There might be a better way to do this actually. I'm not quite sure. Uh, hit a circle from here to make it snap into the midpoint there. Now again, you see how that turned turned blue? Um, make, keep an eye out for that, right? Um, that's because there's no diameter 
kind of holding it. So I'm just going to hit a diameter here and, and lock that down. So what you could do was we could uh, we could hit a circle here. And if they're all the same size, so let's make them 10 um, in there. You could just go in and do something like a circular pattern of it. So select the circle here, select the center point, and then we could literally fill it up with as many as we as we want in here. Um, but if we didn't know, let me hit okay to that. If we didn't know what size, if we wanted different sizes, I would probably start doing something like a line that goes out to to interact with that thing there. Uh, D for dimension and create kind of like a angle between them. Maybe 15 degrees would work. I don't know. C for circle. And then you probably have to create, I think I selected 10. So let's say the next one would be nine. Um, you know, and I would do that. And then I would create another one out here. That would be eight and so forth. So that's, that's probably the way. I don't know of a better way to do that. Maybe if I thought a little bit about it. All right. So with this, what I would do is I would go in and hit, oh, and then I would make sure these this circle here is construction line. So hit the little construction up there. And probably the same thing with our other helping lines here. Because uh, this is going to make our life a little bit easier. You can also hit X on your key. What the heck? I don't know why that's not turning. All right. Um, and then I did do it. Edits. Or maybe I made it some double lines to construction. Okay. Uh, then when we go in here and hit Q, then we could select how many holes we want. All right, we we'll select them all, whatever we want. Make them go down in a depth. But what I wanted to show you, Chris, is now if you're using this feature, the cell, the shell feature and select the back end here and give it like that three millimeter thickness you want. Notice what just happens when we select that back face. <clears throat> it will actually um, give you that whole thing shelled out it will be perfect for uh, for 3D for 3D printing. I hope that uh, kind of answered. I hope that answered your question, Chris. Um, if not, then uh, you're gonna have to email me back again. <laughs>